Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we take a quick tour and try to install some missing plugin and component that we needed to build our application. So, open the Android Studio on Mac, press Command and Space Bar key, Spotlight open. So, type here Android Studio, click enter it's opening you can see there are lot of options on the welcome screen we are going to drive straight and start a new android studio project start new Android project here take this takes us to the first few options screen let's start we are developing an app which is going to be used phone and tablet which you probably when select the first option here and the option table here we have got a Wear OS, TV, Android Auto, and Android Things. If you are developing for those, you can click or you can select those platform. We'll start choose empty activities. It's very simple to get it start click next filling the application name and for now i'll just call example app the next option is to select your company domain here if you don't have your own domain name but don't worry you can put anything you like here for now third when you start publishing on google play you will need have to unique domain so if you like can leave that as the example or joyeducation.com dot joy education dot example app or you can change any domain or your name here then you can choose where the project is saved on your hard drive and down here you choose to java or kotlin is a programming language by default i'm choosing java because we are developing for this java next choose on factor and minimum sdk apa version which version to use here now if you look at the drop down menu you can see that various API version corresponds to the different version of Android that are out there. So the later version you choose, the more recent function and feature will be available to you, but the fewer device your app will run on because a lot of devices are still running on site lollipop so if you select android 8 audio you can see you can use this 26 api it's only six portion of device if you select 
API 27, Android 8.1. You can see this API support only 1.1% device. So it is a choice that you need to make, but most of time at last in the earlier stage of your app development career you probably don't too many feature that you need but don't have so late so it's android 15 api 15 it's a 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich or 16 the living it's work 9.6 percent 99.6 percent device or if you select 15 then it's work 100 percent of a device so that's it click the finish this clothes now for me android studio has opened two default file here but now but you might not be able to see those it don't always open up the same default file when you create a new project so i'm just going to close by clicking x here x here now we'll install some tools we need it to build our application so click the next table now we'll install some tools that we needed to build our application click the tools SDK manager click the next toolbar here we need to install google play service then google web driver and intel 86 emulator x later so we need to install these three this three plugin click apply let's take um, click ok accept next accept just click finish wait until finish download now we have a two folder here one is app and one is gradle script gradle script is in an open source App building tools Android Studio use for build to your app. So we talk more about Gradle script later on. Now, for now, just pop out. Next, a folder. Quick look here. Inside a folder, we have uh, four folders here. One is main 
manifest java java generated and res this manifest which have a single file and it's called android manifest this is xml file so let's have a quick look here we got a package name icon this is a app icon another egg app icon and this is android label is name app name so we have got uh, this themes styles and some other file we'll talk more about this manifest but for now just close next we have a java we have in the java folder we have three folder here but we don't work for these two folder so later on we'll delete now just open this main activities in the main activities we have got auto generate dead code here this is android studio auto generate dead for us so later we'll all delete and we'll generate we code new we code new coding here so for now just close close and just pop out it in java just pop out it so now next more interested in the res resource folder which is where we keep things like image music and app icon most importantly to use right now is the layout subfolder here that where we can see the activities main xml activities main xml file and it is just double click here and we can actually see visual here so your app is this is actually what we design here layout so it is this font size here you can choose any font size here any devices where tvs or more mobile phones and tablets this is latest phone version pixel so it's api version is 29 it's just leave it or you can change any other devices so for now just leave it later we'll talk about more about this activities xml and we'll work more for this content so what we actually get start editing here content and app layout for now just close and just pop out it we'll talk more about this uh, java manifest and resources is a layout and style scholar everything we'll talk more the trouble is a layout icon and gradle we talk with implement here new library or support google play uh, google ad support everything here will implement and we will work on later on for now for last one we cannot run 
we cannot test our app now because we don't have any emulator here so open for download emulator here we need to download create your device here so emulator we need to create uh, we need to download here in my case I want download for this let's say base size what is size 1080 by 1900 pixel size so we need to download or you wanna if you wanna test TV or Wear OS or tablet then you can if you want then you just select and download for me I select pixel so click next it's latest version API level 29 so it's download 29 let's take a few minutes because it is uh, big five almost one GB plus so wait until finish then we'll come back and we'll see you in the next tutorial we'll build our very first app and we'll test our app in the real device and emulator so thank you for watching and bye for now see you on the next tutorial